Okay, we're at the point where we want to make sure that the uh, valves are closed because we, as we've uh, seen the you know, from the drawings, the tools for the tap and the seat cutter and the setter for the well, the tap. It's a interference with the valves and the top of the piston. So we need to know that the valves are completely closed before we stick a, a tool down in there. So we can use the bore scope. What we saw earlier is that it looked like the valves were open. And so what uh, time cert suggests is the only way to know is to take the valve covers off and make sure that the valves are all the way closed. Well, Calvan, I didn't particularly like a lot of things about their kit, but I did like one little tool they had. So it's what it is, is a rubber stopper on a piece of hose that just goes down to a little valve that you hook up to your air compressor. So you hook it up to your air compressor right there, put in a little bit of air, just turn on the valve a little bit, and it pressurizes up this hose up to this little stopper, and you shove this stopper down into the spark plug hole and get it kind of sealed, and then turn that little bit of air on. And what's going to happen is the valves are open, the air will go inside of the cylinder, go out the uh, open valves, and either you know go back up your intake or go out your exhaust, but you're going to be losing air if, uh, if any of the valves are open. So what you do is you put this uh, rubber stopper in there, put a little bit of air in there, and you can hear it running in there. Then get underneath, and right on the front of the crankshaft, there's an 18 millimeter uh, bolt sticking out that you can put your... Uh, you know, put a, a long half inch uh, breaker bar on there and just turn the engine over just a little bit at a time and you'll turn it and turn it and of course it'll move the cylinders up and down it'll move the valves and then at some point the valves will close and the pressure will build up inside the cylinder and pop and you can hear this thing pop out and then you'll hear the air running out of it so I'm going to try that right now what, I've got this set of uh, valves closed so but what I can do is I can shove this back in there put a little bit of air in it and sure enough it'll pressurize up the cylinder and pop out then you're pretty confident that the valves are closed. Let's see if I can do that. So, just reach down in here and get it kind of seated in the valve hole. Then I need to get some air on this. Let me hook up the air to this. Just a I've got uh, an air line hooked up to this little tool. Got the valve turned on. And what should happen is it should pressurize up that cylinder. And it should uh, pop out of there. It's done it before. It sounds like I'm leaking air down around there. So it's so tight that, oh yeah, okay, so it won't even stay in. It just keeps that there, there. So as soon as I, you know, as soon as I let go of it, that cylinder's sealed. It does not want to even keep that little plug in there. Every time I do that, it just pops right out. So that's a pretty good indication that the valves are closed and that the cylinder is sealed. Now what I want to do is uh, run something down in there and make sure that the, the piston is down. So that we have enough clearance when we run the tools in. So now the valve is closed, great. But now I need to make sure that the piston is down. So I've turned over enough that the pistons are down and the there's enough room for the tools to go in there without hitting the top of the piston. Okay, so we decided that the valves are closed because I just did the uh, air test where I pressurized the cylinder and sure enough through the spark plug hole and the cylinder holds pressure. So I'm assuming the valves, I believe the valves are closed. Next step is to find out is the piston down so when we run the tool in, the tool doesn't run into the, you know, the tap and the reamers. It doesn't run into the top of the piston. So I'm going to take this bamboo skewer. So I'm using, you know, bamboo or wood or a chopstick, something so that I don't, I don't want to run metal down there in case, uh, you know, there's a valve or something in the way. I don't want to bump it or nick it or chip it. So I'll use this bamboo skewer. It's about a foot long or so. I'll slide it down into the spark plug hole and just see how deep it goes so it's probably about if I run it down there I can should be able to run along the wall and feel where the uh, spark plug seat is and just bump right over that seat let's see if I just bump right over the seat I should feel the threads yep a little bit farther I feel the threads and I drop down in the cylinder so I drop into the cylinder and I mean, you can see that that skewer is pretty much all the way in there so if I figure from the put my finger on there it's probably about Oh, I don't know. A couple inches of the skewer was above. Then, you know, I might measure this, but what I'll do is I'll lay it next to the the tool, the insert tool, and find out how deep the insert tool is going to go. And we'll see. So if I hold it about right here, the insert tool, even if it went all the way in, yes, you know, so that's the top of the spark plug hole where my finger is. Then there's how long the whole insert is, and then that's where it bumped. The, the top of the piston when I ran it down in there. So, 
Looks like to me, even if I ran this tool all the way in to the, you know, the top of the the head, flush with the top of the spark plug hole on the top of the head, I still wouldn't have any chance of hitting the piston. So you know, I can look at the other tools, and you know, there's the the setter, the tap. You know, it doesn't look like there's any chance of it uh, bumping the cylinder. So that looks good. So we were just talking about how to decide if the uh, valves were closed and where the piston was on this uh, Triton V10 engine when we're about to do a, a spark plug insert. And so to do it, we need to make sure the valves are closed. So the way we did it was put a uh, plug in the spark plug hole, hooked up to some air, put a little bit of pressure in there, you know, maybe 10 PSI, 10, 20 PSI, crank this little valve open a little bit so just a little air running in there and then slowly turn the engine over with a uh, breaker bar and an 18 millimeter socket down on the crank until the valves close, the pistons, the cylinder seals and the uh, plug pops out. We get a little air pressure in there and this little plug pops out of the spark plug hole. And then the question was, okay, well where is the cylinder? Where are we in the four cycles? Well if you think about it, the four cycles of course are, uh, you know, intake, compression, power, and exhaust. So during exhaust and intake, the valves will be open. During compression, the valves will be closed. The cylinder, or the piston going up during compression. And then the piston going down during power, and then going up for exhaust. So I turned, it o turned the engine over by hand until just till the uh, valves close. So if you think about that, where in the four strokes that should be in the cycle, if uh, you run it over till your valves just close, that should be the start of the compression cycle. So if you just finished the intake. So the valves were open. You lowered the piston for the intake. And then just as you started up on the compression, the valve should close. So when the valves first close, because they were open, because we could hear air rushing out of them, they were open until we just turned it over and then the valves closed that should be at near the uh, bottom of the piston travel and just starting up on the compression stroke so think of where else the uh, valves might be closed well I guess the piston could be anywhere in the compression and power cycle but for that if we put the air tool on there the little plug and it pops right out then we need to poke the stick down and then find out how deep the piston is but if we want to, we can just keep turning it over till air runs out. Then we'll be in the uh, exhaust and then the intake cycle. The exhaust is the piston is going up. Then the intake cycle is going down. And then just as the valves seat again, that should be the start of the compression and the piston should be at the bottom. So, you know, if I care to, I can go through that whole exercise each time. Or, like I said, uh, check to see that the piston is sealed, or the cylinder is sealed, and then... Uh, check the depth of the piston away from the top of the spark plug holes. Either one should work.